Hi, my name's Rajinder and today I'm going to be talking to you about circular motion, specifically questions involving horizontal circles. When solving these questions, there are a few key points to always keep in mind. The resultant vertical force, that is the sum of the upward and downward forces, is always zero. Now that's because movement is in the horizontal plane and the particle doesn't move up or down. Secondly, there is a force directed towards the center of the circle causing this acceleration called the centripetal force and that has a magnitude of mv squared over r. Now with these in mind, let's have a go at a question. A particle of mass 2 kilograms is attached to one end of a light and extensible string. The other end is fixed to the point O. The particle is set into motion so that it describes a horizontal circle of radius 0.6 meters with the string at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical. The centre of the circle is vertically below O. For part A, show that the tension in the string is 22.6 newtons, correct to three significant figures. OK, in this question we want to find T, that is the tension in the string. And so we need to construct an equation where it is the only unknown variable. Now to do this we'll use the first point, the resultant force is, the resultant vertical force must equal zero. Now in this question, we have two vertical forces, the downward force due to gravity equal to mg, mass times the coefficient of gravity, and an upward force due to the vertical component of the tension in the string. Now to make the resultant vertical force zero, these two must equal each other, so we can construct the equation t cos 30 equals mg. Now we can work out the numerical value of mg, the uh, force due to gravity, because we know the value of the mass is 2 kilograms, we were given it in the question, and the coefficient of gravity is 9.8. Now if we multiply these two together, we get mg, which is 19.6 newtons, and we can substitute in that into our equation for t, and we get this equation, t cos 30 equals 19.6. If we divide both sides by cos 30, we get an equation for t, which we can put into our calculator, and it gives us a value of 22.632, which rounds to three significant figures to 22.6. And so, luckily, we've got that question right. The second part of the question wants us to find the speed of the particle. Now, to do this part, this part of the question, we're going to use the fact that there is a radially inward acting force, the centripetal force, that is equal to mv squared over r. And because this is provided by the horizontal component of the tension, which is equal to T sine 30, we can equate these two. They must equal each other. And we can rearrange this equation to isolate V. And we do that by multiplying by R, dividing by M, and taking the square root of both sides. Now we know the values of M, it's 2, R, 0.6 metres, and T, 22.6 newtons. And if we substitute these values into this equation, we get this equation. And we can put this expression into our calculator and find a numerical value of v. It comes out as 1.84 meters per second. Now before I end, I'll just recap the key points to remember when solving these questions. The resultant vertical force is always zero. And the centripetal force that acts towards the center of the circle is equal to mv squared over r. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful.